Getting your first 3D printer is exciting, until you realize the printer itself is just the beginning. There are a few must-have accessories that make 3D printing a lot less frustrating. So when Timu reached out and offered me a $100 shopping spree on their site, I thought this would be a great opportunity to try building out a beginner's toolkit without breaking the bank. I picked up everything from cleaning supplies to specialized nozzles, tested them all, and I'm here to help you decide which of these accessories are worth picking up. Let's start with the first thing that can make or break a successful 3D print, your print bed. If you don't keep it clean and prepped, you could run into adhesion or warping issues that'll completely ruin your print. The best thing for cleaning your plates is isopropyl alcohol, which I didn't actually get off Timu, but what I did pick up was a spray bottle to put it in and a 12 pack of microfiber cleaning cloths. Keep multiple of these handy, you'll use them more than you think. The next item I picked up, because I didn't have any, believe it or not, was a four pack of glue sticks. You won't need this for every print, but I found some models have a harder time staying stuck to the plate. Once your print comes off the plate, however, there may be some residue left over on the bottom. Luckily, cleaning this up is really easy with the use of a heat gun. Just a quick pass and those bottom layer blemishes will completely disappear. If your print has supports or brims, additional cleanup is required, which is why tools like needle nose pliers and diagonal cutters are consistently recommended for 3D printing. I already owned a pair of needle nose pliers, but I finally grabbed a pair of diagonal cutting pliers, which comes in handy not just for snipping away supports, but also for cutting filament and opening up new rolls. Another must have 3D printing accessory is a deburring tool, which is crucial for cleaning up rough edges and brims. Here's something I didn't know as a complete beginner. Filament is like a sponge for moisture. With some material types like PETG, drying the filament before printing is a requirement. But even PLA, the most beginner-friendly material, can become brittle and unprintable if left out too long. Now, you'll want to get a proper filament dryer elsewhere, but Timu did come through with some great storage solutions. I picked up a vacuum seal storage kit with 10 bags and a pump, as well as 100 silica gel packets. You can use these packets inside the filament dryer as well as inside the storage bags to help keep the humidity levels low. Good filament storage means better prints, fewer failed jobs, and longer lasting materials. Okay, next up, I picked up an extra hot end. This is the part of the printer that heats up and melts the filament before extruding it through the nozzle. My printer came with a 0.4 millimeter stainless steel nozzle, which works great for the majority of my prints, but for finer detail, I needed something smaller. I took a chance on Timu's 0.2 millimeter hardened steel nozzle. I was concerned when I didn't see this specific nozzle type as an option within the settings of my slicer application, but I trudged along anyway, and everything went horribly wrong. My print failed halfway through and I spent a bunch of time taking my printer apart, trying to fix the nozzle because I assumed it had gotten clogged. But it turned out my spool of filament had actually gotten tangled and once I fixed that, everything printed perfectly. Here's the custom dog tag I printed for my Golden Doodle Milton Bradley using the 0.2 millimeter nozzle. Now, some prints need more than just filament to complete a project, which is why I decided to grab some extra hardware. First off, super glue is a very common way to attach separate parts and pieces. I didn't get this glue on Timu, but they do have several hot glue gun options which can work just as well. Next, so many projects call for little mini magnets. I picked up this 50 pack of three millimeter magnets and I've only used it in one project so far, this playing card fidget toy. What was cool about this print was it actually paused halfway through so that I can insert the magnets and then it prints on top of the magnets to seal them in. I've got a big poker tournament coming up and this is perfect for fidgeting at the table, especially if you can't shuffle chips. Also, it doubles as a nice card protector. Next up, I grabbed some heat set inserts. However, I'll admit it, I was oblivious to how these actually worked. Turns out, as the name suggests, you actually need to heat them up with a soldering iron and then you can press them directly into your print for a secure threaded hole. Timu does sell soldering irons, so I might have to pick up one of those next. I also grabbed this giant assortment of nuts and bolts. I haven't used them in any of my projects yet, but tons of 3D models call for these, so I'm sure they'll come in handy very soon. I noticed a lot of projects also called for these ball bearings, and I decided to use them in this helical spinning cup project. I love how this project came out. The spinning is super smooth and satisfying. The filament I used for these cups also came from Timu. These galaxy black and dual tone pink and blue filaments caught my eye. One thing to note is I didn't go with a full size one kilogram spool. Instead, these are 200 and 250 gram spools, but that makes them perfect for unique little projects like this, and I still have plenty left over for future builds. Now, at this point on my shopping spree, I only had a dollar left to spend, and I decided to grab something just for fun. This already 3D printed double spiral cone. 
I've seen these everywhere in the 3D printing community, but never really saw the point in printing one for myself. But now that I have one, I find it extremely addicting to play with. I liked it so much, I ended up printing one using those same filaments I got off Timu. So for under $100, Timu delivered some solid 3D printing essentials. All the items I mentioned in this video are linked in the description, along with a special offer from Timu. I'm Nick Bradley, thank you so much for watching. Also, subscribe.